everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Now today we have my stock box out on the table and for good reason because finally my shop is back online. Huge thank you to everybody who was emailing and commenting on YouTube videos and sending me messages on the forum to say, did I know that my shop was empty? There was nothing on there. Yes, I did. And for those of you who haven't been following, we had to turn the shop off because well, we were going through a lot of issues with the VAT side of things, the sales tax, and there will be a full update on all of that situation tomorrow. I'll talk in depth about all of the trials and tribulations that we went through with that whole process. But today it is just about the silver. It's about what we've got for sale at the moment on the website. If you guys are interested in any of them, or even if you're not, feel free to just admire them here today uh, on this video. But if you are interested in purchasing any, there's a link down in the description below to my website where you can see all of these items and make a purchase directly there. We ship internationally, all around the world, Australia, even America, Canada, all countries. So feel free to place an order. For the very, very best prices though, feel free to drop me an email and we can sort out a bank's transfer or a wire transfer. We even accept cryptocurrencies. But I think it's important as well, just to say before we go through this, I'm not here to pump this stuff. This is expensive premium silver. A lot of my energy, time, effort, love, sometimes blood, sweat and tears go into making these items. And, you know, to that end, if you guys like them, if something speaks to you, then please feel free to pick it up. But don't feel like you guys have to. We are perfectly fine without sales coming in. You know, that's that's just part of nature of the game. That said, if you do like any, link down below to my website. So this last couple of days, I've been going through this stock box, making sure that everything that we've got here uh, in the stock box, with the exception actually of this skull round, absolutely love this, uh, are now listed on the website and ready for sale. What we've got here is a eclectic mix of what I like to call the YouTube Ripple series, plus a few other little bits and bobs and items. Now, I realize it's gonna be quite difficult to get everything out on the table with this tray there, so let's just move this to one side and then we can hopefully get everything out a little easier. So a lot of these items are YouTube Ripple series items. So for those of you who've been following my channel for a while, you'll notice that sometimes, not so much recently, but sometimes I will put out silver pouring compilation videos. Those are showing these pieces not all of them, but most of these pieces being physically made. I think it's really kind of, it's a nice cool thing to have on the back of a piece that you buy. You can actually see the ripples forming on these pieces, which is really very cool. And uh, I absolutely love to see those videos, put some nice music to them, which is actually something I'm going to be talking about tomorrow as well, because the music side of things is, uh, is really interesting and copyright and YouTube um, claims and things like that. There's some horrible stuff going on with a, with a, one of the music, um, royalty-free music companies that I've been using. But anyway, uh, we are focusing on the silver today, not on uh, silly silliness of uh, other companies. And um, yeah, so I video them, I show them being poured, and then there's a reference for anybody who wanted to purchase them. And I think that's a kind of cool, unique thing that I like to do. It's a nice video database uh, of them. So this is the some total of what's on the website right now. We will be uploading, by the way, um, all of the custom made listings again at some point. Uh, those aren't up just yet, but uh, we're, we're just gonna play it by ear at the moment because part of the whole situation now with our sales tax is uh, we are limited to how much we can sell, um, which is a good thing because the last thing that any of you guys want, look at that as a picture, that's gonna be a pretty cool thumbnail. Uh, but the last thing that any of you guys want is for uh, me to start producing, mass producing thousands and thousands of pieces because the whole point of these is they're meant to be, they're meant to be limited. They're meant to not be, uh, you know, something of one of a thousand. It's meant to be one of small numbers. And the YouTube Ripple series for 2016, 17, the first year that I did it was 250. The second year in 2018, it was down to 150. This year, because of just life, we are going to be really lucky to hit 50 if I'm being honest. We're at something like I think 28 at the moment. This, uh, where did it go? This one here I think is the latest one in the series, 27. So we are quite a way behind other years and that's a really good thing. I don't want to have these turning into like 150 a year. I don't have the time to make these. A lot of these pieces are just flavor of the moment, stuff that I want to make, stuff that I think that I would like to buy if I was a customer. 
So, uh, you know, we've got the elemental cube here. Of course, everything has been hallmarked by the Edinburgh Assay Office, so this will actually focus. In fact, let's get it onto one of these bigger pieces here. So we've got some odd weight backyard bullion logo bars, uh, and the hallmark is the uh, the full markings at the bottom there, which guarantee its purity from the Edinburgh Assay Office. They've tested it and made sure that it is, in fact, what I say it is. So we have an eclectic mix from uh, all of the different series. We've got a bit of 2017. In fact, we've only got one item left from 2017. And I like to, I like to look at these two together uh, because this one's from 2017, this one's 2018. I really should make one for 2019 and then have a date run of all three. And I think this speaks volumes in certain different ways. So first of all, I think the quality of the 2017 versus the 2018, you can really see a difference there. I like to think that my skill is continually evolving and I've got a long way to go to becoming a really very, very good silver pourer. But, you know, you can see that the those ripples are just really different here. I love this big chunky one, 7.77 ounces. Uh, nearly sold it the other day, but unfortunately the buyer pulled out and not sure whether he might be able to take it or not. So it is available uh, if you guys are interested, but uh, if not, it's not the end of the world. Uh, they're really cool kind of 3D stars, by the way, as well. Look at that. Uh, this one needs just another touch up on its polishing to make sure that all of the liver of sulfur is gone. But it's really nice to see the kind of contrasting styles there going from one year to the next, which is uh, really very cool indeed. So that is the only piece that we actually have available from 2017. And it was, in fact, around the time that we uh, got our hallmarking sorted, because normally I would do just these type of markings. So I'd have the BYB logo and put 999 for the purity of the silver and the weight and be done. Uh, but then we were registering for hallmarking, so we got this one sent up for hallmarking. So it's got 999 on it as well as a hallmark, which is very cool indeed. Then the other pieces that we've got here is we've got a mix of 2018s and 2019s. So it's a bit difficult to really kind of, I've kind of mixed them all up now. But here are some of the, where's the other one? Where's the other spiral? These are really very cool. I like these spiral pyramids. They're very, very fun indeed. I was thinking of calling them ripple nipples. I have to be completely honest, but um, we chickened out. Spiral pyramids is what they're called. And um, their ripples on the other side are really nice. This was right at the end of the series. We did 150 in 2018. And these ones were 147 and 149. Really, really cool. Love them. Absolute pig to stamp, by the way. Uh, we actually ended up stamping them in the graphite mold. You have to be incredibly careful, otherwise you might end up breaking the mold. But we did it without breaking it, which is exciting. Uh, what else have we got? We would not be uh, doing justice unless we had a look at these incredible pyramids. So I haven't poured any of these pyramids for 2019 yet. Um, they just haven't made it onto the roster. But they are very, very cool indeed. And I love this big Aztec one. The amount of depth that goes into this central cooling pool is ridiculous. If you can see, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but it's really, really deep down into that central part. Aztec style, of course, with the kind of uh, the steps and the, uh, the square steps all the way up. And then we've got the Egyptian style pyramid here as well. And I like this one because it actually reminds me of the real pyramids, because if you look closely at the real pyramids, they've got um, different parts of it look really nice and fresh, where it hasn't been weather worn and fallen off. And this has that kind of same look as well. It's really interesting how the silver's kind of taken to um, taken to the, uh, the mold, which is very, very cool indeed. And because they're really big and deep pieces, you get some absolutely stunning ripples. Really incredible. Again, absolute pig to stamp. Trade secret, if you use one of, I haven't got it, oh no I do have it to hand, if you use one of the Royal Mail sticker rolls you can put it in like that and it stands quite nicely and you can stamp on it without damaging it which is a real nice cheat but uh, those are very cool as well. Now we've got up here about, I think we've got 10 or so of these 100 gram backyard bullion bars. So in 2017 we only made 15 of these, 2018 we did 25, 2019 we did 50. I think that's too many for the future years. We've got 10 left right now, uh, but we will be probably doing more of these in 2020 with a all-in-one compassed uh, 2020 stamp, which is very cool indeed. So we've got some of those available. Some of my favorite pieces though on the table here, I love this tiki statue. It's really very cool. Now, one of the things I've considered doing, and I'd like any of you guys feedback, if any of you are still watching at nine minutes and 50 seconds, um, is 
doing bundles. So I know that some of my pieces can be expensive, certainly at the smaller end of the scale. It's just part of the nature of it with the, uh, you know, with the cost of hallmarking and everything. But uh, I was thinking about um, doing kind of listings of bundles so we could have, uh, you know, like the shells and ammonites and trilobites or the, uh, you know, sort of a maritime theme. So you've got the, uh, the, the seahorses, the trilobites and the uh, ammonites, perhaps, or something like that. I don't know. What are your thoughts on bundles? Or is it just I, I've kind of always veered away from it because I think it's better for people just to be able to pick what they want and what they might want. And you might like the seahorses, but you might not like the ammonites. So that's kind of uh, what I've always thought. Now, one of the most popular pieces that we did in 2018 were these Celtic ripple rounds. These are probably one of my all-time favorites. I've got so many all-time favorites. They're in the top five, certainly. Really attractive design made, for, made by Parts for Less 1999. Uh, and they always come out with absolutely incredible ripples. I've got other molds where the silver doesn't come out and look anywhere near as good. I don't think I've got any on the table here, but those old Aztec head rounds I used to do and they're just the silver, it's about the same th th thickness, but the silver just does not come out as pretty. And I can't fathom why. But these Celtic ripple rounds do an incredible job at coming out really well. And the antiquing process absolutely sets them on fire. So those are some of my all time favorites. So that is pretty much my stock box right now. There's uh, a whole host of different things here. Do let me know your thoughts. Even if you're not going to buy any, I really would like feedback from you guys on the designs. If there are any designs out there that you think would be very cool to make, then of course, feel free to share them down in the comment section as well. If you are interested in any of these, then please feel free to head on over to my website or drop me an email. My email's down in the description below, or it's byb at backyardbullion.com for the very best prices because my website prices are inclusive of PayPal fees and things like that as well. So feel free to get in touch, feel free to have a look on the website. Even if you don't, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stock box. Uh, it's really nice for me to go through it and actually get back to the sales side of things again because it's it's been an eventful couple of weeks, well, month or so actually. And tomorrow's video, I will be sharing a big update on that whole process and my thoughts on taxes, sales taxes, business, being a business in the UK, generally selling in the UK as a business, it's hard. It really is hard. It's taken a lot out of me actually this last sort of six, seven weeks over the, well, in fact, over this last three or four months, it's really taken its toll on me and I want to share a lot of that in tomorrow's video. So if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit the alarm bell if you want to get a notification when it comes up. Otherwise, put a thumbs up on this video. In fact, let's pose for the thumbnail. There we go. Hopefully we'll put something cool, although I am covering most of the silver. There we go. Thumbnail time done. Uh, otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. Thank you one and all for watching and thank you to everybody who supports the Backyard Bullion brand and channel through purchasing silver or watching videos. We really appreciate it. We really, really genuinely do. Otherwise, have a great weekend and thank you for watching. Please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.